What is going on guys? In this video today, I'm going to be walking you through everything there is to know about living in Chandler, Arizona. It is Chandler is one of the most popular suburbs here in the Phoenix area. So in this video, I will be walking you through a couple of the main attractions that Chandler has to offer, as well as give you a feel of two different neighborhoods so that you can get an idea of what homes in Chandler look like, as well as what entertainment options there are. So without further ado, let's get into it. In this video, we're gonna be focused solely on Chandler, Arizona. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living and enjoying your best life here in Phoenix, Arizona, then make sure you hit the subscribe button below and tap the bell so that you're notified of any new content that comes available. And most importantly, make sure you comment below because I want to hear your thoughts of this video and just honestly what more content you want to hear slash uh, don't hear. But for those of you who don't know me, I am Eric and I'm a real estate agent here in Phoenix, Arizona. And we get calls and texts every single day from people just like you that are just you know, beginning their search and thinking about making a move to Phoenix and the surrounding suburbs. So if that's you and uh, you know, you're seven days out or you're seven months out, go ahead and give us a call or send us a text or uh, an email and uh, let us know more about your situation and we will see how we can best help you out with a smooth transition down here to the Phoenix, Arizona area. So in this video, we're gonna be focused solely on Chandler, Arizona. Now, Chandler is one of the most sought after suburbs in all of Phoenix. And that's due to a variety of reasons. One is definitely the location. The location cannot be beat, especially, you know, in the last, uh, last 15 years, they built the 202 highway. And that kind of connects the East Valley to the West. And if you're not familiar with it, here's a map below of showing this new highway. And ever since they built that, Chandler has just taken off in population. In 2020 to 2022, the home equity has increased about 40 to 50%. And that's just because of how much demand is now here in the Chandler area. And it really is due to a variety of reasons. You have, according to niche.com, you have some of the best schools in all of Arizona located here in Chandler in this suburb. And on top of that, again, according to niche.com, you have some of the best crime rates in all of Phoenix as well down here in the, the Chandler area. So it definitely is very, very sought after for people who want you know the best schools and lower crime rates. Chandler is definitely gonna be for you. And also one of the best thing that Chandler has going for it is the location. You have three major highways cutting right through it. You have the 101 coming straight down to Scottsdale. So if you, you know, like going to Old Town or you like going to events in the Old Town area, you're only about 20 to 25 minutes away. You have the Southern Loop of the 202, which again, here's a map just showing exactly where it cuts through. And that just provides access to anywhere you need to go in the valley. If you're going west, if you're going east, uh, it's just an easy highway to hop on and Chandler's right in the heart of that. And then finally you have uh, Highway 60, which, which is just on the north side of the Chandler area. But again, it's easy access to get anywhere, anywhere you want. So. Chandler, the heart of Chandler, is located about 20 to 25 minutes away from downtown Phoenix and the downtown Phoenix airport, Sky Harbor. And again, it's just such a good location. I, I can't stress that enough, especially in the northern kind of older part of Chandler, of just how good of a location it is. Now, another cool thing that Chandler has, and it's very similar to Gilbert. So we'll be talking a lot of Gilbert and Chandler in this video. One of the better parts about being in Chandler too is that Everything is here in Chandler. You don't need to go, you don't need to go to other suburbs if you don't, need, you know, if you don't necessarily need to, right? So that's one of the best things that Chandler has is that everything is located here in the city. So for you know some of the best shopping in Phoenix and in the Valley, you don't need to leave here. Chandler has an amazing mall that is right off the 101 and the 202, and it has a really really cool niche downtown that we will touch on. So it just it really has it all. It has you know unique restaurants. It's got an established culture. The location is phenomenal. So you can really see why Chandler is so sought after and why so many young professionals and young families are all moving down here to the Chandler area. Now, some of the best activities that you have to do while you are down here in Chandler is you gotta check out the Old Town area. It's right off of the one-on-one -on -one and it's just so cool of all the little shops, all the outdoor dining activities. You got Santan Brewery that is here that uh, they brew, you know, that's one of the biggest breweries here in all of Phoenix. So that's all down here. You got DC Steakhouse, which is an amazing, amazing steakhouse that they have right in, again in the heart of Old Town. 
There's great art everywhere. It's just so, uh, it's such a cool and unique, unique area. It's similar to downtown uh, Gilbert that we talked about in our uh, vlog of Gilbert. Not quite the same. It's not quite as big and uh, built out, but it's just really cool. It's really, uh, it's really a niche, niche downtown Old Town area. So definitely got to check that out. And uh, Matty G's, that's a good, great burger spot that I uh, cannot recommend enough that if you're in the area, you got to check out. Another area that you have to check out is down at Wild Horse Pass. Now this is, it's technically right out of uh, Chandler. It's on native land, but they have all kinds. They got a casino there. They got two really good golf courses. Whirlwind, definitely got to check out. Uh, go, go explore that area. They have an equestrian park where you can ride horses. They got a dirt, dirt racing track. They have everything down there. They have amazing outlet malls. So that's just outside of the, the city of Chandler. So if you're in the area, you definitely gotta go check out Wild Horse Pass. And another really cool area is the Chandler Fashion Square. Again, earlier we talked about how Chandler really has everything and that you don't ever have to leave the suburb if you don't need to. And so that's definitely a shopping area you're gonna want to go explore. They have Veterans Oasis Park, which is a you know about three to four million dollar park that the city invested in. It's really cool. There's greenery everywhere. They got walking, walking trails and a lake. It's it's a really cool, it's just a nice park and you don't get a ton of greenery here in the Phoenix area. So anytime that you can get those parks, definitely recommend. And another really cool, really cool restaurant guys that you have to check out, it's called The Hangar. So Chandler, it does have an airport. It's mainly just used for, you know, private and uh, smaller commercial flights, but they have an, a restaurant there called The Hangar and it is right at the base of where the planes take off at the runway. So. You can see planes taking off and just a really, really cool restaurant that you're gonna wanna check out. So again, that's the hangar. If you love outdoor adventures and you know you like mountain biking or hiking or just biking in general, uh, there's plenty, plenty, plenty of trails down here in Chandler, guys. And the nice part is, is that everything's super flat. So I had people come you know, from all over the world just to bike here of how flat it is and how much activity there is to do outside. One really nice thing too is you're right next to South Mountain and South Mountain is one of the biggest parks in all of Phoenix and there's mountains everywhere and just some really, really good hiking spots. When the first time I came down here, we somehow stumbled upon the South Mountain hiking trails and it just provides such a beautiful view of how wide the city is and just it's a really, really cool spot that you got to check out and it's technically not in Chandler, but it's right next door. It's uh, in the Ahwatukee area, so right next door. Got to go check out South Mountain as well. You know me if you've been following the channel. I love to golf, so one, there's a handful of courses here that I would recommend checking out. Again, we talked about Whirlwind. Uh, they have two really good courses here. It does get a little bit expensive in the winter time. They have a card that you can get discounted rates, but there's other courses that you can play in the winter. Uh, San Marcos is just around the corner here. It's an old uh, municipal track that uh, you definitely got to check out. It's, it's a good course. You got Lone Tree down in the south and uh, Bear Creek. Those are both two two really solid courses. Um, I, it's one of my favorite of cities to golf in is Chandler just because of how many different options that they have. So that's about it for all the things that you can do here in the Chandler area. So next we're gonna pop into a couple neighborhoods and uh, just give you kind of an overall feel of what houses in Arizona look like and what you get for your money here in Chandler. All right guys, so we are just about uh, two miles away from downtown Chandler and I wanted to show you this neighborhood in particular because of what you get for your money. So this, this neighborhood is in about the mid 400s to it could go as high as about the 550s to 600s. Now a very common trend that you'll see here in Chandler is a lot of the homes north of the 202 do not have any HOAs. Now what you're gonna get with that is, you know, you're gonna be paying a little bit more and it might need a little bit of updating. So we just had a, a listing in our office, it was 430, about 1500 square feet and it, it kind of needed a full remodel. So that's kind of what you can expect here for pricing in the Chandler area. But overall, it's still such a super nice area to live. It's so quiet up here. And uh, again, you cannot beat the location, but that is a common trend that you'll see here in Chandler because the average home sale here, and these are single family homes, right? There are condos and townhomes available uh, that are in the you know low 300s to mid 400s. But if you're gonna buy a single family house here in the Chandler area, you can expect the median price to be about $570,000. So it definitely is more expensive. And that's why I wanted to show you at least walking around this neighborhood of what that money, you know, what that money can get you. Now, the one nice thing about living in Northern Chandler is again, there's no HOA. So if that's something that's very important to you, 
Northern Chandler is gonna be a great spot for you to be in. But the lot sizes are a little bit larger. So if you don't like neighbors being all, all on top of you and being you know right next to each other, then Northern Chandler is probably where you're gonna to wanna to live because everything south of the 202 again is part of like a master plan community where there's HOAs, you know, there's neighborhood parks, community pools, all that stuff, right? So a lot of that is gonna be south of the 202, but this neighborhood in particular is again, north. So there's no HOA, there's plenty of room, and yeah, you can expect a home in the four to 500. So next stop we are going to go into is a HOA neighborhood in the southern part of Chandler. That way you can kind of compare what this area looks like in this neighborhood versus down south in Chandler. All right guys, so we are on our last stop for this video and we are down in a master plan community called Ocotillo. So this individual neighborhood is called Fox Crossing. However, Ocotillo, if you look on a map, there's water everywhere. A lot of people joke around here, they call it Agua Tio, right? Uh, so it's cool, it's really cool. There's canals everywhere. So if you wanna live on like a, a waterfront property and still live in Arizona and get all the benefits of, you know, no humidity, and uh, you can take your boat out on it, you can fish on it. It is really, really cool. So this is definitely an area that you're gonna wanna check out. Everything is just so nice down here. The shopping malls, uh, all the neighborhoods are super, super nice. And uh, you can definitely get a different feel, right? That this is a more higher price neighborhood between you know, the HOAs, um, just how you know, people maintain their houses, a little bit bigger houses as this house up here that we're gonna walk right by is for sale and it's about $670,000. So down in Ocotillo, you're, it's definitely gonna be more expensive. This is gonna be more of your high end, your luxury type living. Um, but that's one of the nice things about being down here is that you can get a really high end home for under a million dollars. Now, for most of us, that is a ton of money. However, um, a million dollars goes a long way down here in Chandler. So again, just a really, really cool and unique neighborhood. There's uh, parks all over here because again, there is this is an HOA community. And I looked it up as I was coming down here, almost 90% of homes in Chandler have an HOA of some sort. So it is very common and it's something that if you're moving here, that you're going to want to notice. And if that's something that you do not want, Chandler's not gonna be the area for you. There's other areas around the Metro that are gonna be a better fit. But what I love most about uh, the Ocotillo neighborhood is again, it's the